Hey, Mick. Andrew, how are you? I'm good. I am buzzed and I am excited about our first episode of uh, the uh, Web3 Digest. Excellent. So, yeah, I'm buzzed. Yeah. Um, I think, well, I guess it's second episode, but first episode was a teaser, right? It was a bit of a, hey, what's this about? Um, so I think everyone knows what it's about because obviously they've either watched or listened um, to the first one. Um, but, uh, but uh, you know, what what's... Uh, What's what's got you buzzing at the moment in that in in uh, the web three space? What's what's caught your eye? Uh, I think there's, there's so much. I think I think we, I mean right now I think if you're looking at web three, <laughs> what's caught my eye is these lots of kind lots of, of red red arrows. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, pointing downwards, I yeah. think is, is really where it's interesting. But I think look, that's that's all part and parcel of this, right? It's quite mm. what's quite what's quite cool is um, is I think there's a lot of kind of. I don't know, web three haters. And it really reminds me of the early days of social media. Right. You know, when people are like, that's not going to catch on. Right, right. Why yeah. would I spend yeah. my time posting yeah. pictures of myself and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, exactly. In glasses. Uh, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. Why, why would I do that in glasses? <laughs> Specifically, in glasses. <laughs> Specifically in glasses. Um, but you know, it's not going to catch on. No. And that's that's what people are saying. Like yeah. 2007, they're yes. all about yeah, that. Yeah. And for whatever for sure. reason, and I think it's again, people don't like change. Um my, my friends now are a certain age and they've definitely got to that kind of granddad stage where they just don't like change at all. Right, right, fair enough. And um, and so when you start saying, hey, why don't you kind of really transfer some of your assets into crypto? They're like, why would I do that? It's yeah. all a bubble. It's all fake. Yeah. It's all for money laundering. Yeah, yeah, it's all yeah. for that. Yeah. Um, and so they're now sitting quite smug at the moment, you know, basically because, uh, you know, obviously Bitcoin's down to what, 27,000 at the yeah. moment. ETH is down to uh, eighteen hundred or something, just yeah. over. Yeah, um, massive, obviously drops. Um, at the same time, obviously their equities have died to death, but that doesn't matter. Um, you know, Bitcoin and, and ETH's down. Uh, it's like everything's down. Yeah, uh, so, yeah. No, no, yeah. I think that's it. But, yeah. but what's interesting, like, so the, some of the communities that uh, I, I'm in on Discord, um, every channel seems to have like a crypto talk. Yeah, you know, every server seems to have a crypto talk channel. Yeah, yeah, and. Um, and people are calm. It's yeah. like this guy's on there saying, "Yeah, I've lost half a million dollars in the last two weeks." Yeah. Um, and they're like, but it's fine. Yeah. You know, like yeah. it'll pick up. Yeah. This isn't the short term thing. Yeah. We understand how this all works over the long term. Yeah, yeah. And it's a little blip. And yeah. It's fine. And actually, I'm going to see if I can stock up on some more. But yeah, yeah. I kind of feel there's a whole bunch of people there. hoovering up at the yeah. moment. And I, yeah. and I think and I think that's it. even eight points a day, for example, is yeah. like twenty percent. I don't know if you saw. So it went no. down to nine dollars or something, right? Well, no, it went down to about five. Something. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Uh, back up to back up to six. But again, there was right. there was a whole load of people saying, "I can't wait for eight to go down to um, go down to five dollars, six dollars." Right, right. Gonna buy so I can hoover it up. Yeah. Only up twenty percent, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so and so you know, there's there's going to be, you know, I think it's We've we've all been taught that in the markets things like this happen yeah. and over the over a 20, 30 year period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually those big drops actually look like that. Yeah. Right. And like a tiny little blip. Yeah, I th- I think I think it's interesting because you, you know, the the um a, a lot people that don't understand it believe that it's just day trade bouncing off making cash cash and burn and you know and i think there is that obviously there's yeah. a huge element of day trade and but there's also a huge element of day trading stocks i mean you know the way that stocks have fluctuated over the last you know three years with covid and yeah. tech stocks down i mean look at zoom for example where that you know is is on the floor right as yeah. far as where it was so i think that it, yeah it's quick for people to jump in i mean how I, I think what's interesting as well is how this has affected like that nft space right um, because everything yeah. is driven by 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 well, a lot of it's driven by Ethereum as well, right? Yeah, look, I think I, I started looking at it the last couple of days because yeah. I'm thinking, okay, well, how what's the impact been on NFT yeah. prices? Um, and um, actually, it's it seemed relatively unchanged. So if you look yeah. at it, even a week ago, less than a week ago, we were at twenty eight hundred. Yeah. Right. So you're talking about a thirty percent sort of Dramatic decline drop, in, yeah. in the last yeah. in the last you know six days, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think what's what's interesting is you know. People haven't suddenly said, "Well, hold on, you know, my um, my value of this, you know, NFT yeah. has suddenly declined. No. So I'm going to increase the price in Ethereum by thirty percent. No, whatever. that's not that doesn't seem to be happening. No. So I think there's some really kind of good opportunities there as well. Again, if if 
I think if, if people aren't really panicking and if they're making sort of objective decisions from yeah. an investment perspective, and also, I mean, there's some communities out there which which really people want to be a part of, mm. and it's and it's probably you know as good a time as any to start looking at those, right? Yeah, you know, yeah totally. If, yeah. You know, if suddenly something you know was going to cost you. I don't know, thirty thousand dollars to be a part of. It's yeah. now twenty thousand dollars to be. A yeah, part yeah, of, right? yeah. It's so, Black Friday at the moment yeah. for some of those NFT sales, and, right? Yeah, and I think the other challenge is, I mean, look, there's people who, who's, uh, you know, we've we've met plenty of people like this, where all of their money's tied into crypto. Yeah, like they don't have nothing cash. No, like zero. We met guys who don't have bank accounts, right? <laughs> and all of their money is in digital wallets. Yeah, and. Um, I, I, I was well, thinking about that. How do you get that out? I mean, obviously, you got like decentralized, like Uniswap and Pancake Swap and things like that. But that's interesting for people that are panicking yeah, we, right we, now and don't have. Yeah, we, we've met people who are like, yeah. I don't carry cash. I don't have don't a bank card. account. Yeah. Uh, I don't trust banks. Yeah. All my money's in, in, uh, yeah, crypto. in, in crypto. Yeah. But I mean, what's happening is also some of those guys are. You know, still need to remain liquid somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah. And so again, you know, there's there's definitely there's definitely some uh, again just opportunities. Well, I mean, look, bear in mind, I think you know, globally now anyway, there's opportunities to buy things in crypto. Mm. So be it property or be it cars, I mean, you know, you're able to buy things in crypto. Yeah. So I don't know if you can buy groceries in crypto. I'm not sure. And if you can get bread and milk, possibly. I'm sure there you must can. be someone. Yeah, if you can't, we've can. just come up with a genius idea. <laughs> Um, I, had, I had one which is kind of a mix of uh, traditional and new. Okay. Um, it was quite interesting. So Instagram are now updating the application where you can flex your NFTs. Um, so basically, you you can have uh, an NFT gallery, as yeah. it were. Um, so next to kind of your reels in there, you can you can hold your and connect your wallet and have uh, and have, have had your NFTs in there. Um, I thought it was quite interesting. Um, you know, just, just, I mean, just looking at, uh, l- looking at a space that you don't naturally associate with this new web three, um, you know, a platform, it's not something that you ever hear. You don't hear people talking about Instagram and in discord yeah. or Twitter. It's so I thought it was interesting how they've made that move, uh, on that. I just wonder what you thought about that. If you'd heard about it. Yeah. I, I, I think what would be more interesting is how many people take them up on it. Yeah. Because yeah. do you really want Mark Zuckerberg now to know what's going on in your wallet in your wallet right? yeah as opposed to you know yeah. your house through the oculus um <laughs> you know your, all your likes dislikes yeah, yeah. all that kind of stuff yeah. all the other platforms uh so it'll be really interesting yeah. uh, well i think what's so i mean obviously we you know part of the show is we'll talk about different sort of nft projects yeah, and stuff like exactly. that yeah but um um we minted an nft i don't have any chance to speak mm. about this but but we sort of next and minted a um a, uh, a gallery nft yeah and then it's from an organization called gallery yeah which allows you then to kind of display your nfts in a cool place if you want to put it on the website yeah yeah, yeah 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 um and i just still see more people trusting that environment than instagram. Than going on to yeah. instagram and saying hey yeah. let me collect my wallet with facebook and then yeah. now i can show my I, my nfts on instagram I, I was wondering if it was i i wonder if they they they're leaning more into the kind of artists so not necessarily people that are flexing. I'm wondering if it's content creators and artists that that because there's a lot we've we've had two or three artists um, interestingly speak to us yeah. and say I've I'm an artist. I'm working with an NFT artist that is digitizing my art. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and I've currently got it X Y Z on my website or whatever. I think it'll be interesting to see if there's an uptake in that space. Yeah. You know, from from from. Again, if if you're an artist and you've got a community already, um, as much as you might be building out your open sea and obviously an opportunity, and now look, this is just a first step. I mean, I, I you've got to believe that they're working on similar to Instagram Shop uh, and Shoppable Instagram. I wonder if you know he wants to try and turn this into a bit of a marketplace, possibly um, where I can kind of purchase directly from there as well right yeah it'd be interesting it, it, yeah look i think i think facebook have to make a move into this space yeah instagram is the only platform they put totally. where it makes yeah. sense for them yeah. to do that exactly yeah. um so it will be really interesting in terms of what they do in that next yeah. step yeah. yeah definitely want to keep an eye on um yeah I think one one last thing just yeah. before we go i think we've got like a minute or so mm-hmm. and it's of interest of you and i 
Um, Snoop Dogg pulling all death row records out of Spotify. Um, looking at just now, he's looking at just all of death row being on NFTs. Okay. Um, <laughs> I just thought was was pretty nuts. Yeah. Um, super passionate about the fact that he wants artists to get paid. Yeah. Uh, you know, obviously him being an artist as well, but his fellow artists. Uh, and, and I thought that was interesting, the kind of how that, you know, I, I went to a really good session in South by uh, where there was a there was a woman who who basically, you know, sold an NFT, I think, for thirty eight thousand um, dollars, you know, and, and obviously royalties on the back of that. And that, that was the most amount of money she'd made it over a two year period with a record deal on streaming, right. um, you know, just one NFT. So I think it was interesting. She was talking about, you know, that that space for not only you know traditional artists but yeah. also you know uh, uh, audio art as well yeah. right yeah interesting i think i mean we i mean we saw that firsthand at south by actually right the, mm. um with the launch of the dollyverse yes your favorite. yeah exactly so, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 so uh yeah snoop and snoop, snoop and, and dollywood uh, interestingly enough just a real quick one at the end here i did have a cd guy come to me in uh in in uh, austin you know, the dudes that yeah, yeah. hang on the street corners, yeah. the CDs. I'm just scared to talk to him. He's like, yo, man, do you want to buy my CD? I was like, CD? <laughs> I was like, I haven't got a CD player. And he said, no, no, don't worry, man. I was like, are you streaming? And he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm streaming. Here's my Spotify and stuff. I was like, oh, they're moving with the times. Okay. I was like, he goes, you got any cash, man? I was like, I don't carry cash. <laughs> and he goes, don't worry, man. Here's my, uh, here's, here's my cash app address. Here's my QR code for that. Uh, yeah, he was ready, man. Nice. It was nice. good sales. Anyway. Uh, I think that brings us to the end of it, Amit. Uh, cool. So, you know, the idea is, guys, that we burn out these 15-minute uh, sessions for you just to kind of listen in the car or watch 15 uh, minutes in the background. Um, so we'll, we'll keep these updated, guys. But, uh, yeah, uh, obviously subscribe if you do on the podcast. This is the uh, Web3 Digest. Thanks, Amit. Thanks, Andrew. Cheers.